everyone and welcome to Fashion Factory with me, Togumi. I am your fashion teacher and today I want to teach you how you can fix an invisible zipper. I'm in the middle of making a skirt and I just thought to um, do a short video to teach you how you can make an invisible zipper because so many people ask me, they don't know how to make fix an invisible zipper, they ask me how can I do it, how can I do this, how can I do that. So I thought okay let me just um, quickly make a short video where I can teach you how to actually fix um, fix the zip. There are different kinds of zip, different types of zip um, and they come in different lengths. The lengths vary. It, they can be from 8 inches to 10 inches all the way up to 24, 26, 30 inches. Some zips are as long as 40, 50, 60 inches. They can run from like the top to the bottom of an outfit. So yeah, they come in various lengths. And then the names, zips usually get their names um, based on the type of um, teeth they are. Um, what is the teeth of a zip? The teeth of a zip is basically that one in the middle. Yeah, that brings the two opponents together. So um, if I do this and I open it, this is these are two like two different pieces. Now this is the teeth in the middle here, this is the teeth in the middle here and then when you zip it up, it closes. Now this is the teeth. Now the kind of teeth this one has got will give it, um, will make this um, zip a unique one and will give it its name. Um, if you look at this one, it's got this metal one. Now this and this, they are decorative zips and they've got the metallic teeth. Yeah, so you can see, you've got the metallic teeth. They can serve for functional purpose or decorative purpose. So you can use them to just um, add a sort of beauty to a piece of outfit. You can actually just use them as well for the functional purpose of creating an opening in a in an outfit. Now this one, he's got. Um, you can see the teeth does not look as fancy as this um, as these ones do. It's just um, plastic, but it's got a big teeth as well. And uh, we call this an old school zip. It's called an old school zip. Um, this is also an old school zip, but it looks more fancy because it's got this um, gold teeth. So um, we call this the gold teeth old school zip. Now, um, this is the one where I am most interested in today. You can see that if you look at it from this side, the teeth is invisible, and that's why this is called an invisible zip. So you can see you can open it and then when you close it up, it's like there's no teeth. It actually has a teeth because if you look at the back, you can see that there's something that's a little obvious. But when you look at the right side, the teeth is invisible. So that is why you call it the invisible zip. And this is the kind of zip that most people have a problem with. They just can't seem to figure out how to sew it. So I'm going to teach you how you can sew the invisible zip. Now the first tip I want to teach you is that you can actually use an invisible teeth and that is what I've got on this sewing machine this is an invisible invisible foot sorry this is the invisible foot this is the regular foot for the machine you know it's got um, this two it's got this um, two things here but when you have the invisible the invisible foot it makes it easier for you to sew the zip because you know it has only one side that's got the metal bar the other side is open so the other side actually the, the metal bar doesn't go over the teeth of the machine and it makes it easy easier to easier to sew so the invisible foot is um is the answer to fixing invisible zips so let's do this for this skirt this is our zip yeah i'm going to open it up and start from this part i'm going to start fixing the zip from this part now if you look at the zip, there's a, there's a wax point here, so the zip, you usually start fixing the zip from the wax point. Okay, now this is the zip, you know, this, this zip is going to be in the middle here, so this one is going to come here, and this one is going to come here. This one is going to come here, and this one is going to come here. So that means this zipper, if you turn it, it's going to be like this on the fabric. So if you um, open this up, you know this side is going to be here and that is how we're going to sew it so you're going to follow me as we do this now if you are fixing an invisible zipper and then you are not um, very familiar with it yet you can just take it really slow you don't need to go fast so i'm going to go slow with you um you need to open up this teeth like manually you know it was like this i'm going to push the teeth away so I can open up the space underneath here 
to um, make the seam. So the seam is just going to be on the line here. That is where the seam is going to be. So um, yeah, let's go. So remember I said I'm going to go slow with you on this. So can you see how it's going? I'm already making the seam. Now for a skirt zip, usually I just do 10 inches. So no matter how long my zip is, I just make sure whatever I have sewn is just about 10 inches because that's just um, long enough for your skirt. Anything longer may look funny. Anything shorter may mean um, the skirt will not be may not be so easy to wear for um, yourself or whatsoever you're making the skirt for so I do 10 inches 10 inches is um, the basic uh, minimum I do so I'm on 10 inches now and I'm just gonna close this yeah so I've done this side now let's do the other side after you've done one side you can try to zip off and see if it will close properly or not this goes easily because you may have sewn on the teeth without um, actually realizing you did so um, I tried to zip it up and it zipped just fine so we're going to do the same thing to the other side to make this easy for you I'm going to start from here and then turn it, turn it um, upside down because um, the teeth is on the left side so um, it will not be as easy to sew as we found this one because for this one the teeth was on the right side so it was easier to sew so this is what I do for the second side I first make a seam at the edge here so you can see I've not opened it up yet I just made a seam on the edge here to just um, secure it in place so I do um, 10 inches again I do my 10 inches again yeah, so I'm just on the 10 inch mark so I made a seam just at the edge here to secure it in place now after doing that I now turn it upside down I turn it the other way and then I now open my teeth now I've got my teeth on the right side and because this is firmly in place nothing is going to move or shift so and then you just sew don't forget to push um, to push open your teeth that's important and make sure you don't um, sew on the teeth So now we have sewn both. Now let's see what we have done and how it looks. If there are threads standing in the way, just um, try to remove it. So can you see how our zip looks? You can see that the teeth is not obvious and this part looks perfectly invisible. So that is just how to fit the invisible zip. Now that you finish off this um, lower end, this is what you do. You just put this together here, push this away. And then you just join this. Now you start joining this from where you stopped, just from um, where where you stopped um, the ten inch the ten inch mark. So there's no gap in all. Don't forget to um, to lock your stitch wherever you wherever you start from. Now I'm going to cut off this excess because I don't need it. And yes, this is it. Our zipper is nicely fixed and it's in between. It's invisible. It's so invisible you can't even see there's a zipper there. So that is how to fix your invisible zip. You can see it's actually really easy. It's not difficult. Especially when you've got this invisible foot. It makes everything really easy for you. Thanks for watching this video. I hope you have learned something. If you have questions, suggestions, ideas, 
things you want me to talk about, things you would like me to make a video on, questions you would like to ask me, you can send to my e you can send questions or whatever to my email, tolumitiafi at yahoo.com or tolumitiafi at gmail.com. You can also check me out on my social media pages. On Instagram, I am at tolumitiafp. On Facebook, I am Tolumi Abiola. Keep watching. Thanks for watching this video. You can share this video with your friends. You don't know anybody may find it very informing and educative. Please also subscribe to the channel. So every time I post a new video, you can always get a notification and like this video because I like you. Thank you. That was lame. Oops. <laughs> like the video. <laughs> Thank you. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in my next video. Bye bye.